everybody and welcome to another Tuesday Teacher Tips with me Sally Cathcart. Lovely to see you here. Now it's just a very quick one today because I wanted to share with you one of the attention grabbing little musical activities that I've been working on recently for our Curiosity Box this month which is all about music in the brain. We've had a fantastic interview with Dr Anita Collins um, looking at the power of music and actually how playing the piano really does help to develop attention skills. Here's a little chart that I did last week with some of my pupils and this week as well and I'll tell you once I've, I've shown you it just what an effect it had on grabbing the attention of one of my younger pupils. Okay, it goes like this. Apples, peaches, pears and plums, tell me when your birthday comes. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So it's really, really simple. And I'm teaching online, so I'm, I'm doing this completely online and I'm, I'm kind of leading all this. So the idea behind it is, of course, you can hear that it's got a really steady beat. And then when it gets to the different months, we do an action to show when it's our birthday. So, for example, different things you can do. You can march the beat. You get the pupil down the other end to march the beat. And then when it comes to the birthday, you have to do a star jump, OK? So if you're out there and you're watching, which I can see that quite a few people are already, would you like to join me? and march the beat. And when it comes to the month of your birthday, you have to give a nice big star jump, then continue to march the beat. Are you ready? Off we go. Apple, peaches, pears and plums, tell me when your birthday comes. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. It's very funny, I can see myself in, in um, coming up in the video just slightly later. So, I hope you all did a really, really big star jump. Um, let's do it again. And this time, um, I want you to make sure that you do an even bigger star jump on your birthday and say it along with me. Are you ready? Off we go. Apples, peaches, pears and plums, tell me when your birthday comes. January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, end. Now, this is it. That, that's the end of the activity. It doesn't need to be connected to anything. It is musical enough as it is with that beat going underneath. And because they're having to listen, they are fo focusing their attention on the words and the movement that they're making at that time. And it really does um, help that concentration, attention, to really go, whoa, I need to be right here. Now, I was doing this last week with a young pupil, seven-year-old, who was having difficulty with playing a particular little passage of music, just a very simple off-stave piece. And, um, you know, the, the fingers were something like two, four, three, four, two, two, two. And we sang it with the finger numbers, we sang it in so far, we sang it with the letter names as well. And each time she tried to play it, it would then go wrong. So I stopped, I did this activity, and then I said to her, now, can you, can you do that again? Can you do the, the piece again? And this time, I'd really like you to pay attention to your fingers and tell your fingers, you have to tell your fingers because you are in control of your fingers. And she played it straight through and perfect. So these little attention grabbing moments help that brain to concentrate. And quite often the problem is the brain slips away out of concentration, out of focus, out of paying attention. And this is just one way that you can bring that brain back to that present moment. Try it this afternoon. Have a lot of fun. Just keep it short. Keep it sweet. And just enjoy it. All right. See you soon. Bye bye.